Will Aston Martin dominate F1 2022 with Red Bull's former head of aerodynamics? Aston Martin already stole Red Bull's head of aerodynamics and thus perhaps could ignite a fire in the Aston Martin F1 team. Where do you think Aston Martin will end the season, following the new F1 regulations and the new aerodynamics boss? Aston Martin appears to have pieced the final part of their technical leadership team after Red Bull announced that their current head of aerodynamics, Dan Fellows, will leave the Milton Keynes outfit to join the team in green as their new technical director, although they may have to wait some time for Fellows to start work at Silverstone. Fellows will be part of a triumvirate of technical leaders alongside performance director Tom McCullough and engineering director Luca Fabato who also will move across from Alfa Romeo before the start of the season. The three are set to report to Aston Martin's chief technical officer, Andrew Green. Fellows joined Red Bull Racing in 2006 as their team leader in the aerodynamics department, becoming head of aerodynamics in 2014 after Red Bull's dominant Sebastian Vettel era, which saw them win every driver's and constructor's title between 2010 and 2013, and Fellows is set to rejoin Sebastian Vettel at Aston Martin. Although Fellows already signed for Aston Martin, his deal with Red Bull has been caught in some entanglement. Fellows signed for Red Bull till 2023, but is set to join Aston Martin this season. The issue has seen both parties making efforts to find a resolution, and nothing has been reached yet. Red Bull said Fellows will not be departing until the conclusion of his contract, and remains fully focused on building upon the positive start we've made to the 2021 season. Regarding the move, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner notably said, It goes without saying that Dan will be missed, as he has played an important role during his time at Red Bull Racing, and I would like to thank him for his contribution towards the team's successes. We do, however, recognize that the chance to take on the role of technical director with a Formula One team is an appealing next step in his career. In turn, his move creates exciting internal progression opportunities as we look to the future and draw from the wealth of talent within the wider team. In terms of the timing of the move, Horner said it wouldn't be happening for some time. Dan's going to be with us for a while, he said. He's fully focused on this year's car and will be with us until the end of his contract. Asked when Fellows would be leaving Red Bull, Horner replied, I'm not going to go into great details, but it certainly won't be within the next couple of years. Aston Martin announced last year that it had signed Fellows from his role as Red Bull's head of aerodynamics to be its new technical director. However, the matter has gone legal. Where do you think it'll head? If you haven't subscribed, turn on post notifications and ring the bell to stay tuned. Fellows received an offer from Aston Martin for 2022 and accepted it with an indicated desired start date of 1st of January. However, according to Red Bull, his contract stated that he had to serve a six-month notice period, which can only be triggered on the 31st of December 2022 at the earliest. This would have meant Fellows being unable to join another team until 1st of July 2023. With Red Bull not willing to let Fellows just go, the matter went to court as both Fellows and Aston Martin pushed for an early contract release. Red Bull's boss agreed that Fellows could still do more for the team and agreed that he isn't willing to part ways yet. This is clear testament to Fellows' influence in the Red Bull team, especially after dancing at the top with Vettel and the last championship win of Max Verstappen. Fellows has been described as a talented and devoted engineer who spent his 15 years at Milton Keynes working hard to improve car designs alongside Adrian Newey. Fellows was only placed at the helm of Red Bull's aero department in 2014 and helped shape thereafter the team's progress through the hybrid era and its rise to renewed competitiveness. While Horner has constantly praised Fellows for his ingenuity, he has also made tributes to Fellows' contributions to the team. There's no doubt that the English aerodynamicist worked to bring Red Bull successes, and now it is perhaps time for him to bring Aston Martin out of the middle position. The start of the 2021 season saw Racing Point become Aston Martin. The Formula One team was excited to see this transition as it brought an iconic name back to the grid, and having finished fourth in the standings in 2020, the Silverstone-based team was excited for the 2021 season. However, it didn't turn out as planned. The British team suffered a downfall, as instead of improving on their performances on the track, they failed to bring in crucial results. The team had a fairly better season the year before than what they had in 2021. In 2020, Racing Point was dubbed as the Pink Mercedes because it shared a lot of similarities with the W11. However, it did bring in crucial results as they achieved one win, four podiums, one pole position. 
In contrast, they also suffered six retirements. At the end of the season, the Silverstone-based team had 195 points to their name, achieving a fourth-place finish in the standings. In 2021, many assumed that the team would improve and bring more wins and results. It was quite the opposite, as they only managed to get one podium and finished the season with 77 points, resulting in them finishing seventh in the standings. The Aston Martin team now has a new aerodynamics director that could be the biggest party in influencing the build of the 2022 Formula One car. The new technical regulations could make the racing more exciting, and in terms of that, an experienced aerodynamics engineer will go a long way. Fellow's achievement with Red Bull since he joined has been nothing short of spectacular, and if he can table his experience for the green team, they could have a better season than last year. Fellows also has enough experience with Sebastian Vettel, who is leading the team on the tracks. Vettel has been trying to get back to winning podiums, and this might just be the chance he gets. As Vettel prepares for the challenges that await him next season, he hopes to rebound from a poor season and push the Silverstone-based team to the next level. The 34-year-old German made the switch from Ferrari last season and, with his four world championships, looked set to help Aston Martin. On the track, however, there was little sign of the driver's great qualities last season. He didn't get any further than 12th in the World Championship. Otmar Zofnauer also cited fellows having worked with Vettel as being a bonus for Aston Martin. Speaking at the Styrian Grand Prix press conference regarding fellows signing, Zofnauer said, He's a great addition to our team. He's a like-minded individual. He's a high performer. He's won World Championships. He knows Seb. So we look forward to Dan joining. Fellow's role as technical director will see him work with the likes of Luca Forbato as engineering director and Tom McCullough as performance director, with all three men answering to new CTO Andy Green. Red Bull already promised to keep Fellow's busy till his contract runs out, and it seems they do not wish to let the engineer leave till 2023. Both teams announced recently that they had reached a settlement that will allow Fellow's to move teams this year. The terms of the agreement were not made public, but the deal suggests that Fellows will be allowed to join Aston Martin on April 2nd this year to help the team progress with its new car. In a short statement, Martin Whitmarsh, Group Chief Executive Officer of Aston Martin Performance Technologies, welcomed the deal. He said, We are pleased to have reached an agreement with Red Bull which releases Dan early from his contract and are looking forward to him joining the team. Fellows himself said, I've enjoyed many happy years at Red Bull Racing and am proud of what we achieved. I'm looking forward to next season and a new challenge. If you enjoyed the video, don't leave your friends out, share the video with them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.